What's up, YouTube? Pepe coming to you, Captain Austin Fish Room, Jeff Cromus Pro by bringing you a review video. So we're gonna be talking about some fish food today. Some fish food I've been using on a few different of my tanks, more specifically the Beanie and the Stallsbergy tanks. Uh, it's uh, semi new food uh, to the. Well, I mean, it's been around, but it's, it's, it's new, if that makes any sense. I don't know if it makes sense, but I hope you get what I'm saying anyway. Uh, it's called Paradigm Fish Food. Uh, comes in a few different flavors. We'll go over that. Uh, the ingredients are fantastic, and uh, I've been getting some really amazing results about it. Now, I do want to add a disclaimer, okay? Uh, my using this food isn't saying that uh, I've discontinued uh, Southern Delight in any means. I still use Southern Delight exclusively. Uh, see, Big Rig even said you better not get rid of Southern Delight. That's how much he loves Southern Delight. Uh, but I am still using Southern Delight, and it's the main staple inside of my fish room. However, I've been using Paradigm, like I said, on two of my tanks, the Beanie and the Stallsbergy, and I've seen amazing results uh, with growth, uh, color, um, and I've also seen some results with breeding. Uh, now, of course, you can't attribute the food alone to breeding. You know, of course, you have to, you have to have good water quality and uh, good husbandry and all that stuff, but. Uh, I can say this that, that Paradigm Fish Food has uh, been really great for me. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into it, take a look at the two tanks I've been feeding Paradigm in, and we'll go over the different flavors and uh, the ingredients. All right, here we go. All right, guys, so first and foremost, let's go over the flavors that they come in. First, we have Paradigm Grow, okay? Now, what this is, is it's more of a powdered food. Uh, so I'm using this with uh, feeding my Stallsbergy fry right now. So I'll mix a little bit of it inside like a little measuring cup and then I'll use a syringe to suck it up and then target feed the fry with. All right, and then we have Paradigm Omnivore. Now this is the one that I've been using with my Beanie and the Stallsbergy themselves. And uh, I've had amazing, amazing results with it, guys. I mean, y'all have seen the growth of my Beanie. Y'all have seen the growth of my Stallsbergy. Uh, both are slow growers, and, you know, you've seen that they, I mean, I've gotten some good growth, and y'all have seen the colors on them. So, uh, it's definitely an awesome food, uh, and they started eating it from day one, okay? Now, this is more geared towards fish that are, that are omnivores, obviously, due to the name. Okay, and then we'll move right over, and we have Paradigm Carnivore. Now, these are more for your meat-eating fish, uh, you know, obviously carnivorous fish. Uh, then you have Paradigm uh, Herbivore, and these are for your plant-eating fish, you know, obviously by the name, Herbivore. Uh, this would be really good for Africans. Uh, and then we have Paradigm Grays. Uh, Paradigm Grays is uh, kind of a kind of a hosh posh of, of uh, all of them really. I mean, it has, uh, you know, pretty much the same ingredients. Uh, it has a 45% uh, protein analysis. So uh, those are the different flavors all right there. Now, uh, the one that I use most is this uh, Paradigm Omnivore. We'll go over here. We'll check out the bean eye while we're looking at the ingredients, okay? Now, the Paradigm Omnivore goes in ingredients in order, shrimp meal, green pea flour, dried chicken egg whites, human grade spirulina powder, a whole Manhattan fish oil, astaxaxin, paprika, and cayenne pepper. Now, the nutritional analysis on this stuff here is 44.6% protein, 4.3% fat, 11.8% starch, 14.5% fiber, 2.9% sugar, 17.8% minerals and ash, 
The ash content is really low inside this food, guys. It's just included inside the minerals and ash uh, section. And then you have 4.1% moisture. Now, uh, the vitamins that are inside of this food are A, E, K, B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, C, M, H, D3, and B12, okay? Now, as you can see, my B and I have been eating this food since they've been inside of my fish room. Uh, there was a couple days where they started off on veggie krill and uh, small cichlid, uh, but since, I mean, they're mostly their entire time here, they've been eating the omnivore, and just look at them, guys. Look at how beautiful they are. Look at the colors on them, and look at the extreme growth that I've gotten, all right? Now, here's just a little close-up of the ingredient label for you to pause and read real quick. Okay? Now, we're going to pause and then we're going to go over to the Salzburgy tank and I'll kind of give you all an example and then we'll do a feeding video. Okay? Here we go. Alright, so here inside the planted tank where I have my guppies and my neons, you can see some of them there. Uh, I'll break off a, pe a few pieces of the omnivore. You can see the snails starting to come out to clean up the leftovers. There's a piece of the omnivore there. And what they do is uh, throughout the day they'll go down and they'll, they'll peck at it uh, until the snails actually eat the rest of it. And there's another piece right there. Now something interesting, right over here you can see that an assassin snail came out. He said, oh y'all want to eat I want to eat too so uh, he kind of takes care of the the Malaysian trumpet snails a little bit uh, you know I only have two or three assassin snails in here because uh, I like having my Malaysian trumpet snails they stir up the substrate and keep it nice and clean uh, but I've been feeding this tank since I got the neons and the guppies in here uh, I've been feeding this tank the omnivore as well uh, I'm actually about to switch them over to the grays. You can see one of the guppies going down and pecking at it right there. Uh, we already have baby guppies in the tank. See them guys swimming around up there. Uh, that was really quick. Uh, got some new plants in here. Uh, that's for a different video though. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a feeding video with uh, the Paradigm Omnivore and the Stahlsbergies uh, Fry and the B9. All right, so here's another great thing about this food is it's a crumble, okay? This is how it comes inside little bigger pieces, some smaller pieces, but basically this is how it comes. It's like crumble, okay? And what you can do is you can break it to fit the size that you need. So you just break that up like that. And then you have three little pieces that you can throw into the tank, which we'll do right now for the B9. See that? And they'll munch that down. I mean, they absolutely love it. Sometimes they'll pick it up and they'll run with a piece for themselves. You can see Escobar hogging it all for himself there. Uh, they'll all eventually get some. I purposely break it too big for them to fit the whole thing in their mouth because I want them to kind of graze off of it so everybody gets a chance to eat. But you can see how they just kind of pick off of it and they love it and like I said guys I've been using this food uh, exclusively on the B9 and the Stahlsbergie uh, since they've been in my fish room for the most part and you can see the growth that I'm getting and I mean you know you can see how gorgeous these fish look I mean look at their colors look at the patterns a lot of that has to do with genetics guys but to bring out the best genetics uh, you got to feed them a good food and provide them with really good water quality and that's what I'm doing I'm feeding them a great food and I'm providing them with really good water quality and This is the kind of growth and color you can expect when you do those in combination All right, so let's go over and do a target feed on the Stahlsbergie fry here All right, so you can see what I've done here. Uh, I put a little bit inside this little measuring cup here. 
Uh, took a little water from the tank, mixed it up really well, and you see how you get this kind of little cloudy type of, type of soup mixture there? Well then, once you have that going, and then you want to go in there and kind of target feed. So we'll get down close to about where the fry are. Let's see if I can get them on camera here. And you just kind of target feed around there. You can see them all start coming up. See that? See how they're all chasing it around the little particles? It might be kind of hard to see on the camera. And that's it. See how they're all moving around there, chasing the little particles? It's really cool, guys. Really cool. Alright guys, so that's the review on Paradigm Fish Foods. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you are interested in getting any one of the flavors of Paradigm Fish Food or any Southern Delight Fish Food for that matter, go over and check out Aquatic Support Systems on Facebook, get in touch with Mike Mann or Conway Stevens and they'll get you all set up with everything that you need. All right. Uh, we have really competitive prices. You can find the price points on the Facebook page as well. Uh, so go over there, check that out, hit the like button, become a member. Uh, lots of great people to talk to. Uh, it's a great place to be. And, you know, we love helping people inside the hobby. So if you have any questions, ask those while you're there. With that said, guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all are thinking. This is what I'm doing. This is what I've done. Happy fish keeping and stay true to the hobby. Peace.